Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good day. So I had a lot of questions uh, on my previous video of why uh, or if I wear Russell Klein's, if not, why not? So when I got my teeth extracted, I had Washington State Medicaid because I hadn't been working. And they would not cover any dentures for the first four months. So I had to figure out what I was going to do for temporary or immediate dentures until that four month mark when they, when I became eligible to get mine from, from my insurance. So I found Russell Klein and ordered my temporaries from him. Now I loved my temporaries. They were beautiful. They fit well. I absolutely adored them. But at the four month mark, I was getting a lot of shrinkage and I had to use a number of different products to try to keep them in uh, at the late stage of four months. So when my insurance finally paid for these ones, which were completely covered 100% by the insurance, um, I, I was ecstatic. I mean, these are, I've compared my, you know, my lab dentures from the dentist here to other people's that they've, you know, they've paid five, $6,000 for it and mine are more realistic. They're better made. They're a higher quality. It seems it just happened to be that I picked the right lab, um, which they had a lab on site. So it just happened to be that I picked the right place to get my dentures from. Um, but that's not to say that I won't be getting Russell Klein's at a year. I will get my ultra thins from him, but right now, um, I'm sticking with the ones that my insurance covered completely 100%. I didn't pay anything for them and I'm extremely grateful for everything that, that I got out of that insurance. I was going to lose it because I went back to work. So I had to use it or lose it at four months. So I used it and it worked out great. In the very beginning, I didn't think that I was going to be able to get covered by them just because they're so picky and the way that they do their process, it took a year to get all the authorizations in place. So I just really didn't think that I was going to, I was going to be able to use it, but I did. So the reason I'm not in Russell Klein's right now is because I don't want to pay for another set and just grow out of them. So I want to wait until I'm at a year, but I will be getting more when the time is right. Now, at the end of this month, I'll have eight months under my belt with my dentures. I haven't had any shrinkage in almost four months. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to have any more shrinkage. I really don't know. The only thing that they can contribute to my dentures fitting so well for the last four months is that I sleep in them. I wear them 24 seven. So if there are any changes, my mouth is just adjusting to it accordingly. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Uh, I could probably get Russell Klein's now and just wear them and they'd fit fine. But I just want to be sure. I don't know what the future holds. I really don't know if I'm going to experience any changes. I'd like to just wait. So I'm not going to fork out the money until I know that I'm clear. So these are not Russell Klein's and there's a good reason why I'm not wearing any right now. And that's just, I want to wait until I know I'm, I'm good to go and I won't have any major changes ahead of me. Um, but there's no reason for me to get any other ones right now because these ones fit so well. They fit amazing and they're, they're beautiful. They fit great. I absolutely have no problems with them, so I'm just going to stay in them until the time is right, and then I will order more Russells, but uh, I mean, while these ones are fitting so well, there's no reason to get another set. Uh, I've got, I've had really good luck, and I really contribute to wearing them 24-7. Um, talking to my denturist, prosthodontist, he seems to think that that's why they fit so well and why I haven't had any issues because if there are changes, I'm not giving, so if you think about it this way, I'm not giving my gums a chance to grow out of them. Basically my gums are in these dentures 24 seven, unless I'm cleaning them. I sleep in them. I don't take them out for long periods of time. I just make sure that they're clean and I pop them right back in my mouth. Every once in a while I soak them, 
but I don't really need to because I, I, you know, it's like a 15 minute thing. So I don't really give my gums a chance to grow out of my dentures. They're always, they're always in my dentures. So my gums, there's no, there is no shrinkage. There's no changes. There, there's no nothing. They're just, they're formed to my dentures. And I've had incredibly good luck with not having to wear adhesive or anything. So I don't know. I mean, you can take it either way. But, you know, I see a lot of people that spend, a, you know, a good time out of their dentures having more problems than people who spend a majority of their time in their dentures. And that's what my denturist and all the old timers that I've talked to have said. You just have to wear them all the time. If you wear them all the time, they will fit better. And that's been true for me. I can't say for anybody else, but for me, I, I just, it, it, there's no way it could have gone any better. I, I, there's, there, there's no better from where I'm at right now. Being able to wear my dentures at seven and a half months with no adhesive, eat whatever I want. I just don't have any problems. So I will be getting Russell Klein's when I'm completely out of the clear. I just, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of one of those rare cases where I happen to have really good luck with them and I don't need another set right now. When I do need another set, I will go with Russell. I'm just not there yet and I I really don't know when that will be. I keep expecting there to be some weird change like my dentures aren't fitting right or they start getting loose or something, but it, it's just not happening. So I figured I would have at least kept shrinking after four months and I didn't it just quit so I'm not giving my gums any room to go anywhere they're just they're just in my dentures all the time so I don't know so that's why I'm not wearing Russell Klein's that's the situation right now but I'm really happy with them and for state for state Medicaid dentures I feel extremely lucky to have gotten what I got I feel really lucky that I had the insurance, that I was approved and got the authorizations. It took a very long time and I was extremely frustrated with it, but I'm really, really happy that it was there for me and that I had the option. So when I got my Russell Klein Immediates, it was $400 for the set, $50 for impressions and $25 for overnight shipping. Um, it really didn't get any better than that for a set of immediates that I wore for four months. So out of pocket, I paid a total of $475 for my extractions, um, sedation, immediates, and the, the permanents that I'm wearing right now, a total of $475. So I made out with a pretty darn good deal and I couldn't, I couldn't be more ecstatic uh, at the results. So I'm really, really happy with it. I haven't forked out a lot of money. Um, and I'm not having a lot of problems. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day and that's the reason why I'm not wearing any Russell's right now, but I will be in the future when, uh, when the time is right. It's just, uh, I've got pretty good timing right now. Everything's going really well and I really don't see a need to change anything at this moment. So have a good day guys.